Hello my friends and welcome back for episode 22 of our Edit Lewin campaign in Third Age Sword of War Divide and Conquer. So, we are fighting hard against Isengard, and that rhymes so you know it's the truth. And we're also swimming in cash, so that's pretty much the dwarven life, you know, war and money. So in this episode, I'd like to get rid of some more of the Isengard stacks so we can fully push in that territory and get closer and closer to the heartland, which is also where the One Ring is, interestingly enough. Although I don't think we'll make it there in, what is it, 15 turns, 25 turns, I'm not quite sure. That's going to be a bit close, but we do have tons of cash, so maybe, just maybe, you might be able to buy Gundibad from the Edible Dwarves. I'd very much like it. I think Edible would be quite nice. Oh, hello Gandalf. Maybe we should update our map information. Uh, no. <laughs> I just want map information, mate. <laughs> Seriously, our map information is worth way more than your map information. It's even generous. Gandalf, you're an annoying little bugger, man. Get out of here. Alright, anyway. Um, with that said, we are moving on Baradvin with Lily. We're keeping this guy here. I hope the attack long died with those forces. We should already start looking to bring in more reinforcements, which we are doing. Mr. Gula can lead some troops. Um, we are training more forces, bringing down more forces, but ideally we'd be getting more and more troops at our front line, so we don't have to all walk them over. We could still rely on our back settlements for the more elite units, because it'll take a while before we can train them steadily. Uh, but for like just pikemen and regular scouts, the bulk of our forces still, we shouldn't have to rely too much on our rear settlements. I also got an interesting comment from our resident clone trooper, Mr. General Cheese 6 and he suggested, and I quite like that idea, to have an army that is just 100% crossbows. <laughs> I don't know man, to me that sounds hilarious and just exciting. I would go for the longbeard crossbows because I think they're the best combination of melee and uh, skirmishing capabilities. Melee 7, total defense 21, so that's quite a bit higher than probably marksman, although they do have one higher melee attack. But these guys do come with shields. And their range is also very high. So they get defense skill, shield, and armor. Whilst these guys just rely on defense skill, they have less armor and much less, like, no shield. So, let's get a ton of them. <laughs> it would be fun to have, like, a full stack of longbeard crossbows. Maybe some of the Dune Scouts as well. Um, any other settlements that we can train troops? No. Alright, what about in Bree? Let's start retraining these lads. Alright, one question I had was of course... Okay, so Lily's coming down, he should be able to take Baradvin, though we should probably give him a catapult. But we can do that next turn. Um, Elkford's very weak, like once we break this army, which... Maybe I should just attack him, you know? What does he have? No, mm, oh, that's a pretty scary force, man, not gonna lie. Two berserkers, a bunch of wargs, I'd rather fight them in a siege battle. Crush him at Lundair. Let's end the turn and see what the enemy does. So let's keep you moving. But yeah, once we push through that front line, most of the settlements are very weak. Alright, and we do have a ship coming by. Right. Right, right. Completely forgot about that ship. Okay, so we do have many forces moving, right? Kind of lost track of them. They're all moving towards Metraith. Alright. Hope you guys are all doing well, of course, as always. I'm doing pretty well because. Um, it's almost lunchtime, and I'm going to eat one of my favorite dishes in the world, and that is spaghetti carbonara. So that's with uh, bacon and eggs, and oh my god, it is so... If you've never eaten it, you're doing yourself a disservice, but I bet most of you have, because it's a pretty well-known dish. But it's one of my favorites, one of those things that I can just keep eating forever until I get really sick, which is... I don't know, it's kind of childish of me, I guess, but you're like, oh, I don't want it to go to waste. Man, the money's just flowing in, all right. Well, let's keep building everywhere, because it's worth it. We have the cash. We can use the extra troops. Oh, we can start trading elites here as well. Beautiful. We can train elites everywhere. Angsul. That's another settlement that we can now upgrade these guys' armor. Athelin got the highways. Athelin will be actually quite an important settlement if you're ever going to attack the Dunedain. So we should be able to train some troops there as well. Mickledelving, one of our richest settlements, coming close to uh, 6k right now. 
And uh, do, 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 do. let us get let's get a tavern. Happiness is always good. I like happiness. Metrith got upgraded. Beautiful. That's really good. Let's get the army barracks there. Actually, oh fuck, I shouldn't have closed that. We need to get more culture first. Um, there's still a couple settlements where I'm not building anything. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look. Under towers. Yeah, it's getting there. I, th I should put it on lower actually so it goes quicker. Alright, this one's very close. Oskalon will actually be able to be upgraded next turn. Beautiful. That's good. Hobbiton. I don't think Hobbiton can ever get upgraded because there's no next tier. Alright, interesting. So we don't have to worry too much about Hobbiton, so maybe I'll move Kroon out of there. I think he's more suited to being a Numenos, actually. If you look at the income difference, he'll make much more of an impact there. Longbottom will also never get upgraded, so perhaps I should move 9 to Metraith. Okay, Argon's can be upgraded. Got us Uh Let's get a market there. And then Londair, we should make sure to repair it. Oh, I forgot to do that last turn. Um, and then get more culture. Alright, so Longbottom and Hobbiton. Uh, well, there's no other units there, so if I move the governor out, oh, they're actually not that angry. Um, we'll put some forces there. Can we train anything there? Yeah, just the levers, whatever. Just to keep the peace a bit. And then Longbottom, you can go to Metreath. Metreath, okay. So long diet stack's not doing anything for now, that's fine, we are still pushing in on them. Dunedain are getting nasty, man. They're getting very strong. Hmm. To open negotiations. Alright, let's plop you in there. Okay, you can wait for a second. And let's attack Parad Ah, we're one tile away. One bloody tile away. Alright, as for Tharbad, are they getting a bit happier? Yeah, culture unrest is pretty high. Maybe I shouldn't have built those roads first. Ah, oh, well, we can keep the troops there for now. Um, no, Metreath. Yep. Alright, spare troops in Argont. Sure. I'll just let everyone meet at the fort. Uh, the Captain Thor. I think they're already going there. Yeah, they're already moving there. As for our recruitment report, Gobadrain has a bunch of troops. They could actually all get sent south. Gobadrain, Thorin's Hall got those retrained, and Bree got some retraining done as well. Good. But we'll leave those troops in Bree for now. Let's send these guys. Wait a second. Merge them. Leave them. Let's send the Grimborn Reavers home for retraining. Let's get some more Grimborn Reavers and Brotby Marksmen to the front. And that should be most of it. Okay. Ballista. I don't think we really need Ballista right now. Not more than we already have. I'd rather have catapults. Because Dwarven catapults, oh my god. That's something else. Alright, so let's see now on our front lines. Can I do any recruiting or retraining here? No, not yet. Need to be more patient. Uh, what about over here? Uh, yeah, I can recruit some troops here. Yeah? I can recruit some catapults. Nice. Okay. Tharbad. Alright. Uh, where's that ship? Where's my ship? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a very odd place for you to be. You kind of probably already noticed that. Hang on. Oh, wait. I had a boat there the entire time. Right. I completely forgot about that. Oh, my God. Right. I had that boat to move my spy around back when it was still Mythland. Oh, my Jesus Christ. I'm a moron. Wow. All right. So, guess we'll get an army here and transport them towards Naragron Lost. Alright, I move my diplomat, right? No, not yet. Hello, elves. I think we'll have enough money to just straight up buy Tharbad. Uh, not Tharbad, we have Tharbad. Um, Gundabad. Yeah, you can probably notice, once the campaign reaches like the late game and I have a bunch of settlements, I kind of lose track of everything. I should make like, an Excel spreadsheet just to keep an eye on everything. It's really difficult to not 
and to know like oh, I need to build that in that settlement, I need to get troops there, there, there. It just becomes rah, so bloated, which is why I prefer the early to mid game. I'm much more a fan of like the period where you have like ten to fifteen settlements and everyone's kind of the same level as you. Um. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The other name. But there's one thing that I do very much would like to have, and that is, of course, hammers of Gundabad. Um. Now, it should already be Dwarven culture, right? Yeah, so they shouldn't really notice too much of a shift. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna actually going to take a sip of water. Where's my water bottle? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, there it is. I placed it on my desk and then I completely forgot where it was. Alright, sorry about that. Clears up the throat a little bit. Hello! I very much would like to receive Gundabad. I know you took it, and it's your by right. Yours by right, but... Sure, we could make a deal. Let's just start with an offer of 50,000. It's pretty low. Yeah, very demanding. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. What about 75? That's still very demanding. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think we'll actually get there. 100,000. Is that. That's 10,000. 100,000. Still very demanding. Oh, crap. What if I were to give you a region? I'm not saying I will, but just like hypothetically, if I were to give you, I'd say Londai, just shits and giggles. It'd still be very demanding. Yeah, Gundabad's such a good settlement. Ah, that sucks. I mean, maybe we should try buying Kazadum first. That would make us a lot more money. I very much would like to own the Mithril Mines. Alright, whatever. We'll just keep building and we'll get more money. Alright, Famgathol is completed. Nothing left to build there. Buzra Doom. Oh man, it's such a rich settlement. Jesus Christ. Probably has a fair bit of corruption now. Oh, not too bad. Let's get a barracks there. Mithlond. It's also nearing completion. I can actually get some troops here. I'm not really building many troops. And these are doing pikemen that are already, like, super experienced for some reason. I haven't seen one moment of war in the order they experienced. Uh, Gobbadrine. At one point, all our settlements are going to be fully decked out. Oh, we can get Sons of the Fallen here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I guess they can only be trained at Misty Mountains uh, regions. Oh, cool. They're a very good unit. Very strong. Especially to deal with walks. So let's definitely get some of them. Oh my god, we can actually get some real nice units here. Um, yeah, sure. Nice, so all the settlements are becoming just buff. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's very good. That is very good. We don't have to rely on um, specific regions to get... Oh, okay, so this army left. That full stack left. They're probably going to protect Dolvo or Baradvin. Yep, they're moving. So we'll take Baradvin and hopefully lure them into a siege battle where we can crush them. Bregost, let us get to do the Merchant's Wharf. Yes. All right, Thorin's Hall. Then we'll move to the front line. Keep moving. Get those armies in place. Angsul, they're all retrained. Nice. Can actually train some elites there as well. Nice. Good. Okay. So. Um, you move yourself there, nine, you go to Metrith. Yeah, that's a much bigger economic boost. Yeah, 600 extra, that's amazing. You keep moving, everybody else keep moving as well. Forces are coming in. Actually send these guys south as well. Alright, so, we take Battle Vin. That should lure these guys in, and then we can actually put this stack... Mr. Green himself on the boat and send them down south to take more Isengard territory. I expect these guys to come to af after Baradvin or by any of these settlements, or even Londair. It does leave Sudori a little bit exposed, so I'm gonna get some troops there as soon as possible. Should probably get some reinforcements from Bregos, for example. I think yeah, they can all leave. Um, if you can train more units, that'd be awesome. 
Not that I expect them to attack Sudori, but... Alright, let's attack Barat Vin. Oh, there's an extra force there. Mauduf! Okay. Not that scary, because they only have the one crossbow unit. And Captain Lubduf. Yeah, nothing too scary. Alright, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, edit Dune back. We just need to make sure that we don't get too caught up with walls and towers and all that kind of jazz. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, this is pretty cool painting there. Not sure what it depicts exactly because those guys don't look like dwarves. They very much look like men despite them using axes. That's definitely a dwarf. So maybe it's them getting kicked out of the Misty Mountains or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so just your standard settlement. Um, the Wildman settlement. Where shall we attack from? Well, I think this side is actually the best thing on. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let's just go from this side. The amount of towers is the same. And I think our crossbow. No, our crossbows. Our catapults will sufficiently scare them off. Okay. Nothing stands taller than white of the dwarves. Actually, let's put you guys a bit more back. Just so they don't shoot at the crossbow. Uh, I keep calling it a crossbow, the catapult. Let's just observe them for a second. What are they doing? Let's knock down the wall. So the plan is to knock down the wall, part of it at least. Um, actually, we should probably get somewhat a defensive position to deal with those lads. Is they try anything stupid? My god, that was a pretty tough wall, actually. For such a shitty wooden palisade, that took a lot of shots. Okay. Is that, is that a crossbow? Uh, it's actually the bodyguard. Huh. Huh. I don't know, should I use my ammo to shoot at the bodyguard, or...? Oh crap. Uh, I didn't know they were so fast, man. Come on, stop them. Stop them! All right, at least we stopped the bean guard. Um, I think I'll rather fight at the towers. Not gonna be more of a nuisance. I hope we can hit them. Our men are they're running. Like oh, they're all running. Beautiful. All right, stop fighting, you guys. Just for a second. Um, hang on, actually, move a bit closer. As Anarian pointed out, the closer your catapults are, the more accurate they are. Alright, let's make sure they don't reach the settlement. Oh. Don't let them get away, or at least not most of them. Alright, that's good, I can live with that. Alright, they're done. Beautiful, well, already cost us some time though. Alright, that tower's down. Alright, he's returning fire. Hang on a second, is that tower just firing at us right now? Let's hope we can take that tower down as well. Oh, that like glanced over it, so close. I'm not even sure who's activating that tower, I guess it's those runners. Uh, how is this tower active? Oh, because there's like five beast slayers there. <laughs> Come on, lad. Don't bullshit me. 
Let's just keep firing and hope we can knock down the tower. I think, yeah, two hits is all it takes. They just need to be accurate. Come on, laddie. I mean, you're close enough because you are getting shot at. That should do it. Yes, alright. We still should have right enough ammo to get rid of this tower as well, but we're wasting so much time, man. That'll make our lives so much easier. Wait, hang on, who's fighting? Where the hell did you come from? What the hell? I'm very confused. Come on, come on, come on. Please hit it, please hit it, please hit it. It's a pretty good angle, I'd say. Yes, that's a good one. Boom! One more. <gasps> oh, come on. <laughs> now we don't know. Oh, you missed. You missed the one shot. I don't think the grape shot hits anything. Well, at least the one tower is down, so if we just rush in like Grim Grimborn Reavers and take care of those pieces. Oh, no, because he's got troops right there. Ugh, that tower is gonna work on my nose. We really should have fucking ah, pure luck. Ah, well, that tower doesn't do that much damage. It's just, it's just annoying. I don't like losing my troops to towers. So blah. Let's send in the infantry. Don't tell me those pikes are going on the wall. Oh, I hate you, pikes. I hate you so much. If only grape shot could damage towers. Screw you, man. Seriously. I should just ignore them, actually. Yeah, man. Screw those towers. Screw them real good. Does that hit anything at all? Uh, I think it hit some, but... We're just gonna shove through them. Fuck it. Screw the spikes. Let's our crossbow shoot them. Just ignore them and shove against their general. Uh, goodness gracious. Well, either way, it's gonna be another easy settlement to defend, though. So. There is that. And if he wants to sit on his fucking palisade like a real ass hat, let him. Let's see if we can cause some damage. Alright, let's kill that bodyguard real quick. I mean, all in all, we've only lost 1%. So. It's not that bad. At least our crossbows can get some good shots off. They don't have to fire in a knock. Come on, laddies. It's time to kill those pesky general bodyguard. Let's see if we can get you in the rear. Yeah, man, those cross um, pikemen are annoying because they're so rough on the walls to take down, and ugh, you can only attack from one side because there's only one entrance. If they won that, the entire battle would be so much easier. Right. Let's make sure you get to the rear. Oh, actually, attack the crossbows, please, because they're going to be a nuisance. Victory seems certain. What the hell are you smoking? Go on, push in, push in, push in, push in hard. Kill them. You know what? Send the feelings on the wall. It's gonna be annoying, but. I have to clean them up at one point. Then I can put my own crossbows inside the settlement, of course. Yeah, it's a bit of a more annoying fight than I would have liked, but we've already killed most of them. So actually, we've almost 5% ourselves. At one point, they'll die. 
Thing is, if that tower had gone down, it was just pure luck. Because I, I bet that one catapult shot just missed it by a glance. It would have been much easier. That's what I'm trying to say. Would have saved us a lot of heartache by the numbers. Alright, well, all in all, it's not too bad. I'll kill them rather quickly. Despite the tower. Despite the tower. It's not like the tower makes them any tankier or something. Alright, let's just roll in the catapult, I guess. Alright, general's down. Not that it matters too much, because they do get infinite morale in the town center. But it's good, it's good. It's cathartic more than anything. Alright, let's get a juicy line of uh, pike. Let's expect them a bit more forward. Get a strong defensive line of our infantry. The phalanx is getting a little bit butchered. That's alright, they'll be okay. As long as they take care of this pikeman. So the plan is to use our catapult to just blow these lads to kingdom come. Those defenders are a bit of an annoying position. Are the spikes done? No. They're actually putting up, it seems, more of a fight. Come on. I don't want to lose my feelings, the bloody pikes. Alright. <laughs> it's grape shot in the town square. Should be fairly effective. Thing is, if there was just another access point, then I could sandwich them, but now I can't. There's only the one bloody access point. Right, be a bit more aggressive, please. Oh, you guys are out of ammo. Oh my god, I look away for five seconds and suddenly they're just fucking gone. Get in position. What are you doing? Oh, why aren't you in position? Oh, yes, that's... oh, at least the other pikes are there to protect. Protect and serve. Nice. Are they almost done? No. God damn it. It's so annoying. Where are you going? If I could just attack them from one other side. Be perfect. All right, let's send in. Actually, let's move the long, long beards here. All right. Ah, finally they're running. We can cut them down. And that tower is finally disabled. My goodness gracious. Yeah, lost more than I would have liked, but All right, we are done. Get out. That's our pikes to do the heavy lifting. Okie dokie. So he's just sending in his forces one by one to die against our pikes. Nice. We've turned the offensive siege battle into a defensive, but we need to be a little bit quicker. I don't want to get the annoying situation. I, if I have the cheat, I will, because ugh, fuck the battle timer, man. I should remember to turn it off for every siege battle, honestly. But Man, whatever. I mean, we all know I'm winning this one. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Alright, let's get in there. 
throw them through dwarven steel. Alright, get rid of the spear guard, shove through. Oh, they're sending in their walks. Alright, and the catapult ran off to safety. Good. Exactly what we wanted. Come on, timer's running low. I mean, I'm pushing as hard as I can, man. I am pushing as hard as possible. Alright, let's get in the settlement. Come on, get in there. Now is not the time to dilly dally. Now is the time to push onwards. Alright, stop fighting for now. Uh, I wish I didn't have to be so aggressive. Wasting more lives than I would like, but. Oh well, not much to do about it. How are we not in control? Ah, oh, finally. But I think we'll kill them before it, the timer runs out. Toot toot. I said toot toot. Oh, I just didn't hear the toot toot. Alright. That is another settlement for the cause. We have taken most of the coastline then. And they will have to step up their game if they want to reclaim it. Because we are going to defend it a lot more than they will. Or than they have. This is this is their defense right there, the, the, the one guy. Uh, and there he goes. A clear cut victory. Let's see how many we lost. 13%. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's see who did the most damage. I think the catapult got a ton of kills. Oh, the Grimborn Reavers is always, man. As always. You just need tons and tons of them. The catapult did pretty good as well. 271. That's fairly good. I can live with that. Alright, my lads. Beautiful. Dol Vaughn is now in our possession. Again, like I say in every episode, if you have any uh, recommendations to rename our settlements. But it seems most of you aren't really keen on that, so that's fine. That is fine. Now I wish I was more creative in terms of naming, but <laughs> I'm not. I mean, to be honest, I already know what I will call my children. If I ever have children. But I've already thought about that. And my girlfriend agrees, so <laughs> don't worry about that. I thought that I'm solely deciding the name, of course. We need to reach an agreement on that. But we have. But naming a settlement? Oh no, I can't do that. Everything will just be named after me. Kind of like Alexander the Great did. Everything is Alexandria. Baradvin. Beautiful. Let us exterminate the populace. I don't expect this to linger here for too long. Just kind of want to lure them into a siege fight, no matter where or what. 2,000 gold coins. Well, that is just... A drip in a bucket of water. Okay. Anything I need to destroy? No, this is all pretty good. Uh, I don't know what to do with these guilds, to be honest, but whatever. We'll keep them for now. Militia Armory. Good. Not that we need it, I think. We have a full stack still, right? Yep. Okie dokie. Yep. Nah, let's... Why did I... No. Brewery. That was a mistake on my part. Resistance is futile. Isengard hates me! Well, surprise, surprise. Let's move the fleet down with Captain or General. Clan Herald, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, green, the unstoppable. And let's go towards Gondor. I know it kind of goes against what I said I would do, but Thadagrondost is such a great settlement. It's so easy to defend. And it might also lure some attention from Isengard. Because uh, it's not like I can send a boat up this river. I guess is the Eisen. Um, so, you know, I cannot get closer to Isengard. We'd have to really walk all the way there. I'm a little bit worried about these Isengard forces. I think they'll fight the Dunedain, but they might be able to slip. If they really wanted, they could slip in through, which is Birig, I think. Yep. Birig, and then, like, that into my land. I doubt they'll do that, because they'd have to pass through so much enemy territory. But you never know with the AI, man. You never know. If they were cheeky, they'd go for Suduri now. Then I have to send Grindfarn after them. Alright, is that everything for this turn? I believe it is. I do hope they attack me soon. I could move the force from Buyout to Dunnarag. 
But then I'd need an extra force first. Yeah. With Isengard, we really need to have troops everywhere. Mr. Graw. Okay. I think that's it for this turn. Coming of age of Thalin. Alright, nice. I bet there's... I actually can't do them, there's another governor. They make good use of a governor there. Alright, well let's see what Isengard will throw at us. If anything at all. Because they are rather passive, not gonna lie. They are rather passive. Alright. I mean, Isengard really made the fatal mistake of fighting at like 20 fronts at the same time. They're pulling a Germany in World War II right there. A classic mistake. Because if I'm not mistaken, they declared war on me, right? I didn't declare war on them. So, I really don't know what their deal was. I guess, I think I was walking through their territory and they declared war. Ah, I can't remember. My brain's mush, mush man, as you can tell, because I can't even say the word mush right. My brain is mush. Alright, so he's not doing anything. Nazgul are returning. Great. Lady, take Londangren. Ah, crap. A Donald Navy. Well, perhaps we should just land here and take Lond... Uh, what was it? Londangren? Fuck it. I don't want to run the risk of them getting attacked and us being stuck on a settlement. Or stuck on a... I'm saying stuck on the, the ocean somewhere. So let's just quickly take Londgren. Londangren, excuse me. We do have a catapult here so we can just take it next turn. It's just the one troop. He's moving back to Londair. This troop's moving around here. He's moving towards Bai, which is all good. These are all armies we can wipe out whilst the new stack is gathering in the north. This is pretty much, pretty much a full stack. Not the most elite army, but we don't really need elite armies. And we do have more elite troops coming in, so we can have an elite force gathered soon enough. Alright, construction reports. Athelin. Feels like we're building very fast as well. Our construction times are very low. Uh, Athelin can use a... An archery range. A Numinas, one of my favorite settlements. It's just fun to see. A Numinas. A Numinas. Just rolls off the thong so nicely. Alright, Core Village Shark, you get the mining complex, beautiful. Boob, Dolvon. Miners Union, get that free upkeep everywhere so we can station troops. Bye. Uh, actually, still need to repair the wall from last time. Let's get the Stoneworkers Guild House before we build anything else, I think. Yeah, culture is not as important right now because we have such a big garrison there. And then Badad Finn, we repaired that, nothing else to do there. So I hope Isengard attacks me, we can have some nice defensive siege battles and wipe out their forces, but right now they're being rather passive. Let's bolster up Saduri just to be on the safe side. Alright. Yeah. I still have the second fleet. I think I'll just park him towards Starbad. Keep him there for now in case we need to ship over troops like that. Um, anything else? Well, we are going to talk to Khazad Doom. Where's my diplomat? Let's actually check on uh, Imladris as well. Do some scouting. Who controls Imladris? Ah, it's still in Mordor hands. Maybe we should go for it. But then I declare war on Mordor. Then again, Mordor's not going to send anyone after me right now. Food for thought. Famgathor, Garth Helagoth, Argon, we don't care about. Uh, let's train some more troops before we send them down. We can already send these down. That's a pretty good stack right there. Alright, let's end the turn. So slowly but surely we are just pushing into Isengard territory and they can't really stop us. They try to stop us and it, it does go rather slow because they have so many forces everywhere. But we are pinching territories left and right. Every new army that comes to the front line can take a settlement and hold a settlement. And at one point we'll have our borders set in a way that we only need to defend two or three settlements and then the rest of the armies can just take other settlements as well. But for now we just have to kind of be careful, make sure no armies slip through. We need to have a clear defined border, a clear defined, a clear defined front line. That's a tongue twister. A clear defined front line. A clear defined front line. Jesus. Trench Warfare. Alright, he's attacking Londair. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
if we can wipe those armies, a couple more settlements open up. And then another stack will appear, we wipe them, more settlements open up. <laughs> Just keep going like that. And at one point the Tharbad army will also be able to move out once their culture, uh, the assimilation is complete. So the Dandan things actually didn't attack our ships. They're probably just happy that we're attacking Isengard. He's desperately trying to recruit some new units, but it will do you no good, my friend. Because I have arrived. What do you have? Spear guard, infantry, and pikes. Alright, we are going to have an easy time then. We are going to have a rather easy time. Glory, we attack! Um... What's a strategy? I don't know. <laughs> Start deployment. Oh, look at this settlement. It's actually not the Middleman Hill. It's actually just the good old Mordor encampment. Alright, so we have tons, and I mean tons of crossbows. So we're obviously going to use them. Rather low on the pikes, but actually enough pikes. More than enough pikes. Just need to hold a line, basically. Um, infantry, just to assist them. And cavalry, just in case. Catapult, go nuts. Fire away, laddies. Actually, I might be able to hit the gate. It's a rather big gate without a big gatehouse surrounding it, so... Should be a fairly accurate shot. I could actually move my catapult a bit closer. Yeah, let's move it closer. It's not like they're gonna sell you out, it seems. Oh wait, that whoa, 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 stop. Okay, let's just hit a wall, because otherwise they're gonna keep coming in and out, and then we can't hit the gate, and I don't wanna get locked outside, I don't wanna risk run that risk. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I can see where the comment from General Cheese is coming from. Goodness gracious, that is a fucking tough wall. It's because we're missing most of our shots. Most of the shots are hitting the... the ground. So could you be a little bit more accurate, please? Yeah, uh, we're not gonna have enough ammo. Oh my god. Why is the catapult so sure? I mean, I guess the better question is, why is this wall actually stronger <laughs> Than a stone wall, that doesn't make much sense. Alright, we should have enough ammo to break down the gate. Unless you miss horribly like that. Alright, two more shots. And one more. Oh, come on. Don't let me down. Thank you. Alright. That just gives a nice sense of security. I still have a little bit of ammo left. Alright. Let's set up defensively, actually. Boop, boop, boop. Move you all in there. Catapult as well. You guys as well. You can already run forward. You're going to be the flanking force. And you guys are also going to be the flanking force. Oh, that spear guard. I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Captured the enemy's walls. Yeah, I'm not sure why this wall is so bloody tanky. Because I think we had like four successful shots. I think it's literally 4% damage per shot. Which does not seem quite right. So they have, they have... I don't know what this is made of. Maybe it's made of Entwood or something. But it seems the Urukai have mastered the art of making unbreakable wood. <laughs> Maybe they gave it Viagra or something. Okay. Well, let's just lob some firebombs at them, eh? Crossbows are just to fire in an arc a bit. It's not ideal, but... Whatever. Free kills are free kills, you know? Uh, let's fire on the pikemen. Whee! Let's see if it hits anything. No, way off. Well, it hits something. That's more like it. Uh, I don't think that grape shot's gonna hit anyone. Oh, wait, it did actually. Only half 
the enemy force <laughs> remains. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I just hit a ton of friendlies. Should have told them to stop earlier. Uh. Yeah, that was my bad. My bad. Alright. Let's rush them forward. Uh, infantry. Infantry over there. It's time to finish this jazz. Stand tall, Phalanx. So many tall puns. Nothing stands taller than the might of the dwarves. Stand tall, Phalanx. It's funny because we're short. Alright, let's. F oh, fuck it, let's just run in there. They're not gonna stop us. What have they got? They have absolutely nothing. They have nothing on us. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy there we go. Ooh, that's a face only a mother could love. What ugly motherfucker. Uh, we're pushing them out of their own settlement. It's another settlement taken with minimal losses. Another settlement he has to turn his attention to. Nice. Yeah, man, the hand of Saddamon. Seems it got stretched out a bit too far. And we're just breaking its fingers one by one. 47 losses, of which most of friendly fire. Yup, 17. And 7 of them. So yes, half of them friendly fire. Round of applause for Mr. Izzy himself right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you can stop now. Thank you. I mean, to be honest, I hand on a proper fuck-up in at least a couple episodes. So I'm sure most of you were just waiting for it to happen. And it, it was a minor one. It could happen to anyone, right? But of course it happens to me. <laughs> oh, well, that was... Blah! Londangren is done for. It's exterminate populace. Repair huge encampment. That's probably why it's so bloody strong. A wall of sharpened stakes gives some security. You know, that would actually be a cool addition if certain settlements had stakes, like the ones your archers can deploy, that would just annihilate horses. I mean, they wouldn't do much because they'd be pretty bloody obvious. But really cool touch. Storehouse. You can keep all that jazz. A warrior's hall, melee infantry, yes, that's good. Can even keep a slave quarters because it actually does some good shit. The war breeder can go there. Alright, mission success, another 2k in the pocket. Alright, some more troops already, we'll take a look afterwards. Thorin's halls, we're almost done building everything there, might as well get an armory, why not? Mythlond. Let's get an archery range. And train some more troops. There's another full stack going. Goth, hella goth. Should also almost be done building stuff. Yep. Get some armorers. Angsul. Yeah, Angsul's done, but get some troops there. Archerleg should also... Oh, still has a fair bit of stuff to build. Matraith. Karas Nurnaled. Um, good miners you need there. The Unions and then Baradfin. They're about to get attacked, so doesn't matter too much. Let's get a pub. For that culture and then buy. Yeah, okay. Talking about buy, these troops are about to go buy. Because <laughs> they're going to die. Alright, another full stack ready to go. Let's move them out. But let's organize them a little bit. I do like having an organized army. So first you, then crossbows. So we got five crossbows in total. And the pikes. Phalanx, what are you actually? Oh, you're an extra... Uh, my bad. An extra crossbow unit. Uh, 
Oh crap. Sorry. I just really like having organized armies. There we go, that's better. Um Oh, we only have one more slot left. So I'll put you away. And then you can go. I mean, that's a decent army. The troops themselves aren't that great quality, but it's it's a good lineup. Crossbows, pikes, some warriors, cavalry, and a um, catapult. I was going to say ballista almost. Is that, you know, the only thing I would ask for more would be one unit of Grimborn Reavers just for the morale effect. Alright, so he's sending a force from Alkford. Question is, of course, will he be sending any troops from, like, the south? I somewhat doubt it. Just because I don't think he has any forces he can send. So I could send this army north and take Alkford. Where is it? Here it is. Could go for it. Let's first do the siege battle, send Gula in to take Don the Rag. Oh yeah, he's just massing hordes. All right, so we are blazing. I mean, financially, we have a ton of money, but it's like nothing compared to what Kazadoom has. Production, population, just overall, we're doing quite well. We are tailing behind Mordor, of course. Military-wise, a couple factions are still a bunch stronger than us, but I think they only look at like the amount of troops you have, which in our case is not that much. But our quality surpasses literally every other faction. All right, let's keep getting troops. Uh, sure, why not? Alright, you can all... Not you. Not you! You stay. There. Can Bree start training good units yet? Oh, they can't. Beautiful. Good shit. Alright. Alright. Like a Numenos, for example. No, they can't build anything yet. Copper Dream can, right? Yep. Yep, yep. More catapults. Catapults are king, baby. Alright, someone doesn't like me as much. Mordor. Oh, that's not great. Alright, so let's hope we can kick him out of by and on died quickly. So we can be a bit more on the aggressive, because we're playing rather defensive, but that's, you know, they're just pouring so many units towards us. I hope the Dunas ain't attack soon. <clears throat> They've got so many troops stacked up there. Okay, so the Dunas are now reclaiming him larger, so... Oh, bugger. Yeah, the Dunas are getting very strong, man. Maybe I should have dealt with them uh, sooner rather than later. Maybe, just maybe. Alright, good, good. Keep those armies coming. <laughs> we just make one full army per settlement. That's just the situation we're dealing with right now, which is not great. Because we cannot outproduce Mordor. Um, well, we can't outproduce our Mordor, but we can't outproduce Isengard either. So, there is that. There is that indeed. Alright, Isengard, come on, attack me. They're probably going to wait one more turn before they attack me. Yep. Ah. Why, you were besieging Balon, I was just hanging around there. Yeah, of course we can't beat them. They simply outnumber us. The enemy is not stopping. Yes, I will take every general... Oh, the ring's in... Um, I don't know where... What's it called? Mistrand, right. The capital of Moria is under siege? By who? I hope not by Isengard. No, because Moria is on the other side. Oh, I should be Isengard as well. Who's attacking Moria? So Kazadum is still very much old to Kazadum West, which we need to get our hands on somehow. Alright, anyway. Um, Army Barracks, Berth and Loon. Just keep building whatever. At one point, all these settlements will be fully decked out. Fioros, for example. Figo Mortison is singing in my ear. Megalolving! 
Town Guard. Bregost. Um, it's got a brewery actually because we haven't built that one yet. Surprise, surprise. Nolnangren got repaired. Good. Because we were about to fight for it. Alright, yeah, I should have all the equipment to attack me. Same here. Should attack me soon, but I'd win then also. Um, is he going to have to far back with that force? Okay, so it seems like this time is going to be a bit of a, a pitch battle force. Captain Radlak. Some bean guards, spear guard, beast and berserkers with quilted armor. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Another scary unit. And Urukai crossbows. Alright, let's save the game and let us jump in. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of battles ahead of us before we can take more territories. I kind of had hoped that the Dunedain would help us out a little bit more. But they are just kind of just hanging around in Austin Ethel, not doing much. Alright, let's see. Are you out on the defense? Uh, no, wait. I do that so the Brobby Marksmen are in the middle. And the chances of them getting charged in a flank are a bit smaller that way. Let's put the pikemen super close behind them so I don't need to move any closer to defend them. The catapult in there as well. In safety. Although we'll probably have to move all our forces a bit forward once the battle starts because I'm sure they'll just run away like they always do. Or not. Or not. Okay, never mind, they are running. Annoying buggers. I hope my catapult creases you. Oh, so close. Well, let's get moving then. He's gonna just sit on that hill. I'll shoot him off it. You want the hill? Take the hill. Keep it. I don't care, man. You go sit there. He's just picking the place where he wants to die, and you know, I don't blame him. I wouldn't mind dying on this hill either. Got a nice view. Oh, thank God, it's a pretty scary unit. Are they just supposed to be like Dunlundings loyal to Saruman that are just decked out in this kind of weaponry, or is there more story behind? I mean, they're not like Numenorians or anything like that, like the evil men that Mordor commands. Same with the Beast Slayers. I'm not sure. Did some have Beast Slayers? I don't think so. As you wonder, but look at the foil king <laughs> decked out berserkers, even protecting the vital parts. Alright, let's move a bit closer. I mean, if there's any body part you need to protect in war, it's it's that one. Let's see, let's take a look at all the groins of the Urukai. Are they all protected? Uh, these are protected, good. The crossbows also protecting their groin, very nice. These guys have actually, uh, yeah, they're not that protected at the groin area. Kind of exposing themselves. Uh, this guy has a bit of a groin protection, but this guy doesn't. It's just wide open. And these guys are all protected as well. Good. Alright. You know, if they weren't protected, then I would uh, tell my crossbows to take aim at the gentleman's area. For maximum damage, of course. Not just physical damage, but mental damage as well. Alright, do we need to get even closer? I thought that would be close enough, but I guess not. Alright, catapult, you should be in range now. Still not, Jesus. I feel like the downhill disadvantage doesn't really count for the catapult. Oh well, alright, we're in range now, beautiful. We that should actually be a good firing angle if you'd hit. Do I have to switch to mortar shot? I hope not. Let's take a look. Let's follow the shot actually. That's what you came for, right? It's epic cinematic shots. Here we go, boys! Urgh. Again? Come on. That's better. Alright, killing the all thank god is crucial. They are scary, man. They are real scary. Uh, let's just put it at 6 speed for now. 
unless the catapult does its thing. Nice! Second shot is always the most accurate one. The first shot whiffs it every time. Second shot is usually on point, but now it's kind of whiffing themselves. As well, oh, yes, there we go. I've already taken out like 20 all, thank god. That's 20 less we have to kill soon. Oh, finally, they started moving. Right, let's get a couple more volleys in there and then switch to the grape shot. Right, I think it's time to switch to grape shot. No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Keep your position, keep your position. Oh, fucking hell, I eat catapults sometimes. There was so much firing potential now. Because they start moving for no goddamn reason. Alright, whatever. Kill the crossbow men. Kill everyone. We've got quite a few more crossbows than they do. Here comes the grape shot. I actually didn't see anything. Oh, got another one coming up. Ooh, nice. Good snipe. Good snipe. Oh, they do have beast slayers. They're probably just hidden. Oh, when the battle started. Alright. Let's hide behind our pikemen. Come on, run. I hate that the crossbows take so bloody long. They're so slow. Where's the berserkers? Oh, there they are. Alright. Luckily, most of our crossbows got out of there in one piece. Keep them at bay. Yeah, man. That's why I put the catapults a bit more to the back. I just done goofed at themselves. Bloody morons. They just goofed at themselves. Alright. I'm surprised the catapult's still firing, to be honest. We will smash the enemy. Charge the berserk because they count as light infantry, so they should be pretty weak. Oh, what are you doing? Pretty weak to uh, calf charge. They should go flying because they don't have that much mass. Yup. Oh, they're very weak to calf charges. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm not sure why they count as light infantry. I guess to make them faster or something. I do not know. All right, catapult, stop fighting. It's a little bit too risque. Alright, you're done. Get out of here. They're gone. Get out of here. Run them down, kill the berserkers. Those berserkers ain't running. The morale might even be locked. They don't run. They fight till the very end. The bitter end! Alright, that should be all that taken care of. Look how ah, there we go. More losses than I would have liked, to be honest. But, oh. That army's taken care of. Okay, so um, now that that army's cleared up, we'll move it closer towards Don the Rag, I guess. But we'll have to face a couple of hordes along the way. That's good. Even if this army would die, if they would take down, you know, three times their numbers, it's a win for me. And they can take down way more than that. At one point, these hordes will be gone. and They can only recruit so many troops at one point. Oh my god. I'd rather have some defensive fights, so I think I'll just position myself in like a vulnerable position. Help, help, don't attack me, please. And then when they do attack me, I'm like, you better call an ambulance, but not for me, right? 
Nah, that's what we're gonna do. Dwarven physician, beautiful. Ah, oh, nice, in Tharbat, that's good. That's one of the things you really want, because you just save so many troops. Alright, Thornton's Hall, got some more beastly units to go. Guess we can get some of this die, why not? They do kind of prove that point sometimes. Um, Thornton's Halls. Just keep sending over forces, time and time and time again. Okay. All right, and let's check for uh, some training to be done. Oh, it's bugging out again. You should be able to double click. But sometimes it bugs out and I can't actually open the window, which is super annoying. But if you do it like this, it actually works. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. A lot of dudes ready here for battle. All right, good. Can't do. Right, so, 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 those horses. I can't speak. Go who's in a go train anything there. Nothing that's worth our trouble. Breland. Okay. Right. I think that's all I wanted to do. I hope they attack this turn, otherwise I will have to sell the out probably. But I think they'll attack. I would bet some money on that that they will attack me. Not sure if I'll have time to do all the siege battles. We'll see. We will see, as much as I like to do them, because, as I've said many times, defensive siege battles are my absolute favorite. Okay, dokey. I was playing Minecraft yesterday with some friends, we were actually talking about movies, because one of my friends was building a movie theater in our server. An actual movie theater, <laughs> I know. Um, and she wanted to put up movie posters of, like, the favorite movies of everyone in the server. Um... And I had to like wonder, you know, what is my favorite movie? All oh, right, they're attacking Londite. And there were two movies that I was really kind of doubting in between. The movies could be, you know, couldn't be any more different from each other. All right, so the good thing about this battle, as opposed to the last time we fought here, is that he should only be attacking us from one side Glory. instead of two. And there are two movies that I, I immediately thought of as them possibly being my favorites, and that would be either Blade Runner. Both the original and the 2049, I think the number is. So the the modern remake, well, not really a remake, the modern sequel. Um, I love those. But also Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, that animated Sony movie of Spider-Man, absolute banger of a movie. If you've never seen that one, it's it's so good. Even if you don't like Spider-Man, just the visuals is mind blowing. The animation in that movie. So yeah, both those movies were kind of like. Are they my favorites? Um, I don't know if I had to pick between one of the two. I wouldn't really know. Okay, so there we have the Bane Guard. They're shivering because of the cold. Brrr. Cold ladders. Alright, so the Siege Towers normally don't really make it. I'm actually fighting on a different angle than last time, it seems. I could actually put the catapult there. We put the horses in like this corner just to activate the tower. They're not going to do much besides that. The crossbows. I'll put the long beards here because they can actually hold their own. Um, they probably can kind of hold their own as well. I just put crossbows everywhere. Even if they get on the walls, they can't do anything. Okie dokie, you're there, you're there, you're there. You're nowhere. Because I got two of you. So in that case. I will move you here and put you there. Um, you're there, there. You're not on a wall yet. Where to put you? Let's put you here. Alright, those are all the crossbows. The pikes will put, of course, on the ground level. Same with the Grimborn Reavers. Uh, both, all three Grimborn Reavers, and then all the other infantry. Which is, those four lads can be put on a wall um, to hold against their attacks. Which actually, let's mainly put the long bit swordsmen because they are, of course, the tankier of the two. Alright, you go there. These guys can go here. And you can go here. Maybe a bit more there. So if they put here, we can squash them from both sides. Alright, I think that's our lineup. Make sure you're on defensive, you're on defensive, 
The wall units run defensive. These guys can be aggressive. All right. There we go. Should be a pretty easy defense. This army is fairly depleted because we've already fought a ton of troops. Um, we should be able to hold. Let's make sure Grinfon himself is not too much in the thick of it all. Alright. A lot of walks. I really wish I could put some stakes down. Uh, let's hope that Siege Tower goes down and takes some of those fuckers with them. We could do some water shots actually. Ooh, Kai Arch, 17 nose in a while. Um, general is probably one of the wargs. There's our general. Oh, we're never gonna hit him with the catapult. Ah, oh, nice! It's on fire actually. So we don't have to destroy it with just uh, damage. Let them come. Keep firing. I just stop firing. Don't fire on raiders, they're pretty poopy. Uh, don't fire on the wargs either, they're gonna die. With our phalanx. Nice. But I think that's the one that was on fire. Actually, you, Grim Moon Reaver, should be a bit more in the back. Crossbows and walls aren't that good, sadly. Uh, why isn't this siege tower down? Oh, whatever. No, oh, they are still hitting it. This displacement tower seems to be firing a bit slower. Oh, they're just squeezing. Oh, they're already routing. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, most of them are on that. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, shame. But we can squash him from both sides. These guys are armor piercing. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. He died really quickly. But for some reason, the Grimborn Reavers are amazing against wargs. Although I don't think they have specific bonuses against them. But for some reason, I'm not sure why, they cut down wargs so much quicker than any other unit ever can. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a lot of shit to deal with right there. Alright, 5% for 24%. Clean. You guys can actually be aggressive. You can come down, same with you. I don't see them squeezing through anytime soon, but you never know. These lads are fairly aggressive. And Grinfarn is safe, so that's good. I'm starting to lose heart. Still, we can't really run them down with these guys. Captured the walls again. Alright, hang on, let's actually pause and make sure these guys are still in defensive mode. Um, otherwise, they're gonna start pouring out of the settlement, which we don't want, of course. They can be aggressive as long as they stick to the respective area. Let's actually pull Grinfarn a little bit more back. We can't afford losing him. Ah, oh, they just have the one, the one ladder left. Nice. So at this point, I do hope that some of them come back. Normally I get angry when they do, but in this case, I want them to. Keep shooting them. Yeah man, Grimborn Reavers, you just cannot go wrong with them. They are so good. I'm not sure how they would compare to the... Um, what are they called again? Azagal's Tomb Protectors, which is the unit you get if you side with the good peoples. I'm not sure... If, I actually think the Grimborn Reavers are several tiers better, and they should be, they should be. You have already go for the easy choice, if you go for the, the righteous path. So, 
If you go for the difficult path, you should be given at least somewhat of a reward. And the Grimborn Reavers are a very, very nice reward. Get in there, laddies. Cut them down. But I do think we need to give Grinfawn some new units, because these ones are fairly depleted. Especially the infantry. Crossbows are overall still healthy because you know, they just see less badly. There's something really off with the positioning now, those pikes. Okay, well, Grinfarn still seems relatively safe. Uh, you keep firing on what you can, but don't fire in that big clump, that just does nothing. That's just a waste of time. Walkman Bean Guard. Sod off. Urukai Infantry, sod off as well. Oh, thank you, they actually listened. Let's destroy that siege tower when they're getting down, that would be beautiful. I think it might happen. If they prioritize shooting them. Yep, 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 they're shooting them. I'm not sure why this tower is not fighting at the siege tower. 94. 97, one more shot and they're all gone. Yes! Look at them go! Bloop! Oh! Have mercy! These guys will break at one point. It's a bit of a clusterfuck, but as I've said many times, as dwarves, we revel in the clusterfuck. It benefits us greatly, because we are just so goddamn tanky. I should probably already get the cavalry close by. They might be able to do some running down. Despite only having four horses available to us. Yeah man, these guys are surprisingly hardy, but they are starting to run now. I mean, those berserkers aren't going anywhere, of course. If they would stop climbing up the ladder every five seconds, I would send some of my own troops down. I guess I could send these guys down. Can get a firing squad ready. Come on, move down. Guess, yeah, they keep pushing troops up. I don't know where they come from. I do know they're dying. If I'm not mistaken, Grinfawn also heals a ton of troops. So that 18% in total would be more like 10% or something like that. Seventy-three percent down. Why are you facing the wrong way? I don't understand how you function in life. I'm gonna pull Grinfawn back. I just cannot afford losing him. Oh man, I wish I could send the horses over the wall somehow. If I put them on the catapult and just fling them over the wall. Horses always land on their feet, don't they? Kind of like cats, no? Alright, so it's a bunch of crossbows still remaining, but I think they're actually in routing. They're just stuck. And then berserkers who I don't think ever rout. I think they're locked. Yep, we're all locked. So we'll have to just kill them. Let's focus on them, please. Which all in all shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, man, that cavalry needs to get through somehow. Actually, I think there's a path. Yeah. They go through here. They should get out safely. Of course, berserkers just chop down horses. No, keep running, keep running, keep running. Come on, keep running. You're running the wrong way. Oh, you bloody idiots. Come on. Yes, yes, you're almost there. Those are friends, don't worry about them. 
They're probably wondering how the hell they got there. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? Alright, so we lost one horse. Uh. Look at this one guy just awkwardly standing there. If I stand perfectly still, no one will know I'm here. I don't think those three wargs are gonna do. Uh, three cavalry is gonna do much, but whatever. Some are starting to come back, which is awfully annoying when they do that. Ah oh, well, at least we have more of a shot to kill them. Oh, knocked down another wall. Uh, another ladder, not wall. Alright. All seas go nuts. Will the bean guard please? They're mighty annoying. Oh crap, walks. Didn't see that one coming. Well, at least we're faster. At least we are faster, but it does prevent us from killing them. I don't know what they're doing. Just working on my nerves, that's all they're doing. It's the entire raison d'etre. Alright. Get out of here, punk. Look how our cowardly bull runs. I can live with that. Let's end the battle. So we killed 91%, so that's enough. That army's wiped, and we lost 13%. Like I said, Grinfon just heals like crazy. Good job, good job. So that's another full stack wiped out. We do not have to worry about them anymore. That just makes me a very happy man. Nice. Good job, good job. Alright. So I expect they will attack me at... Uh, what's it called again? The other place. Where uh, Grim... Grom... Gore? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What the hell's wrong with my memory? Clan Lord Gore... Our king, I should really know his name, Clan Lord Gore, is stationed. Um, they'll probably attack that one as well, but that will be for the next episode. Let's execute them, because of course... Yep, bye. Or shall we continue... Uh, shall, we, shall we do this one as well in this episode? They do have Ballista. Uh, I did get some good tips from an area on, on better way to deal with an attack on by. So let's, let's give it a shot. Fuck it. The fuck it. Okay, that army's wiped as well then. I am feeling relatively confident in the rest of the war. We've proven ourselves against Isengard. We're a little bit worried because quality-wise they're a fair bit better than Dunland. But so far it hasn't really been too much of an issue. We lose more troops than we did against Dunland, yes. But all in all the numbers are still very much in our favour. Alright. Nice, so we actually got this side they're attacking from. Beautiful. I kind of prefer that. Because right now we're kind of going to ignore the walls. We are not going to defend the walls. We are going to put pikes on the access points. And then we're going to have our crossbows on these kind of ledges here to fire down upon them. Same here. Let's do a layered attack. And with our catapults as well. Catapult, we only have the one. Huh, I thought we had more. Oh, whatever. Alright, so let's put one pike unit at the base of the hill. Okay, doesn't want to work. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Why do you not want to work? We could put you there. Guess we'll have to put you like this then. Although this kind of leaves the flank exposed. I guess what I could do is like that. Come on. Cooperate. Oh, come on. Urgh, custom settlements just... Oh, my God. Well, not custom settlements. This isn't even a custom settlement. It's just... Yeah, that's... You know what? Whatever. We will uh, move them once the battle starts. 
So this is not the position I really wanted to go for. I would have gone for a leered attack. But this kind of works. We are protected by our walls. They need to push in. We can fire it on them. I mean, ideally they'd be a bit more in the back, but... Sadly, that's not going to work out. Right, you go there, and you form here. We'll put you on the hill once the battle starts. Everyone else is in position? Yes, okay. Rimborn Reavers behind them. Another one here. Mostly for the morale debuff. We actually have another pikeman unit here. We'll put that pikeman unit here. Actually, we'll put it here as a last resort to defend the catapult. Um, Broppy marksman can go over here. Oh, come on, game, cooperate. Uh, put another there. Can go that, and then the scouts can go over here. We'll see exactly how we position them. Alright, let's start the battle, but first pause because we need to make some movement adjustments. It's not ideal. I know, but it'll work. Okay. Yeah, these scouts aren't going to do a whole lot, but I don't think they could do a whole lot. Actually, let's put you to town square and then we'll move you around to here. I think you might be more useful there. Okie dokie. I think that should all in all be some good positioning. Let's make sure that Gore is not anywhere close to that catapult once it starts fighting. So he's just going to use his ballista to make a hole. Where is his ballista? There it is. We could try firing on the ballista. Force him to come towards us. That's not the position I told you to take. <laughs> the guy does that every time. They're like, yeah, this is what he meant. I don't know if it's worth hitting this, so we'll do like one test shot to see if it's anywhere close to hitting it. Because I feel like he's super, being super passive. Is that anywhere close to destroying the ballista? Or is it just way off? Hmm. I don't know, it could work I guess, but is it worth our ammo? I mean, I guess we're most interested in the grape shot, so... Let's use the regular shot, so be it. Nice. I mean, it didn't destroy only the blister, but... Oh, that was pretty close. Okay, they're bugging out with their shields a bit. The hell? Oh! Oh! Look at that! What the hell? <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a bug. Oh well, it happens. Maybe we could try sniping their general. Oh, he's all the way over there. Oof. At least there ain't much crew remaining. Thing is, I don't want him to snipe the wall and then keep sniping and hitting my units. That would be awfully annoying. Oof, that was pretty epic. Alright, no one's getting through there. Nah, that's not really working out. Hmm. Let us hit a unit that I'm scared of. There's not that many. Most of them are fairly poopy units. And the ones I want to hit are... ...protected by... ...siege equipment. Oh, let's hit these Urukai infantry. Should have a clean shot of them. Yeah, so I think we'll just have to tank some shots. We'll see. We'll see. I've already killed 1%. I told you to fire on this guy, and you're hitting over here. What the hell is up with that? 
the hell's up with that? Oh, that was a good shot. Even if it was completely missing the unit I told you to hit, but okay. No, I'm not sure what the hell's up with your aim. That was good. Maybe you should just aim at the pikemen then. If you're gonna hit them anyway, might as well aim for them so we can at least pretend it was intended. Alright, so what he has done is he's almost destroyed this wall and almost destroyed that wall without actually destroying either wall. <laughs> not sure what the thinking was behind that one. And the catapults are doing 360 no-scopes. Come on, just get in position. You can do some real damage right now. Oh, that's not good. He's probably going to hit his own units with this second shot. You could do some <laughs> real damage. Let's take a look. Was well, okay. We prefer a little bit of a different position on you, but... Sad thing is it takes hours to readjust the catapult, because they just kind of don't move the way you want them to move. Alright, that's better though. Oh no, what are you doing? Let them come. Absolutely let them come. I actually didn't know you could use siege towers on these walls. I guess it makes sense. Alright, I was moving you over. I completely forgot about you. Alright. Lack of short term memory is my middle name. Those wolves are just howling because they've already lost so many of their brethren. Alright. Come on in, lads. We're ready to give you the welcome party. I think these guys are going to rout very quickly. As I think we might just snipe the general at one point as well. The creep shot, you hit the most random targets sometimes. Alright, so he's going to sally in. I can already thank Anarian because this surely does seem like a much better positioning than the previous battle. Just need to make sure we don't go nuts on friendly fire. The walls are no longer the enemy Isn't that what I just predicted? I believe it is. It's a random shot. Straight through the head. And he's gonna try to run in with his arches of all fucking units. I wish you could tell your crossbows to fire at a position instead of a unit. Because I would just tell him to keep firing at the gate. I know in uh, Red Alert you could do that. You could tell him to fire at the ground, so to speak. And just keep firing at one specific position. Just keep firing here. It doesn't matter which unit you hit, just keep firing in this clusterfuck. This is some real good positioning. Thank you, Anarian. Everyone give a quick shout out to Anarian. Round of applause for Anarian. That man is always right. Boom. Oh my god. This is brutal, man. I almost feel sorry for them. This is where we excel, you know. There's dwarves. Pike and shot and catapult. They're running away. Shame we can't really run them down. We don't really have the capabilities for that. We've already killed a third of their forces. More will come. Let's fire on the pike, man. The back line. These guys aren't doing much, but uh, they're doing something. These guys are doing most of the damage. Which is great. Another volley coming in. <laughs> nice. Nice. Stay defensive, lads. I feel like some are pushing. Some are pushing. I don't like that. Gotta stay defensive. I was having a big party over there. Alright, stop actually firing for just a moment. Oh! 
What the hell? How did I miss that? Oh, that's annoying. Alright, well, it doesn't matter too much because we do have troops in reserve. It's just a little bit annoying. Miss the goal and let's send these units. Let's send the infantry back. Um, I did have that one extra scout unit. They can actually go and say hi to them. A little bit annoying, but not too much of an issue. Just something I completely missed again. Yeah, it rarely does that. Like, attack multiple fronts like that. Oh well. That's okay, we'll still kill him. Uh, we're gonna make so much carpet out of all these wogs. Whatever. Uh, let's put one of the Bilgathor Guard and Swordsman there. They're somewhat returning fire. Which is annoying, but. That will do much. Um, that's just crossbows. What's it coming in with? Reavers? No, infantry. Hmm. Raiders. Okay. Uh, so you guys keep moving. Alright. We got this. Just gonna lead to a couple more casualties. I wish those guys would come back at one point. Our men are winning the battle. Not done killing them. Like this, we will smash the enemy. These guys are just kinda of buggered out. At least their towers are firing at them, so. Oof. Ouch. Move the scouts out. Um, are they coming in yet? No. If he wants to come fight, let him. He won't stand a chance. Come fuck him up. Yeah, I really don't know what they're doing. Are they gonna go all around now? They just completely abandoned their position? That would be fairly annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we'd be able to hold them off, but my pikes wouldn't be in the best of uh, situations. Situation. Um. Yeah, alright, well, it seems we'll have to... Let's pull away the reserve pikes. An interesting twist, at least. At least they make it a little bit more difficult than just grinding them down. So that's cool. I appreciate that. Will it matter? Nope. Especially if they're not moving. They should have rushed us. Then it would have made a difference. But now we will have just about the same amount of time to get ready. Right, someone's going nuts on my men. Could you not do that, please? Okay. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright, and just like that, we have actually just secured a different position. Only half the enemy force remains. And our crossbows are already firing as well. You know what to do. Fuck those crossbows. Screw you. Alright. 
And suddenly everyone's in position and we're all just having a blast of a time. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're bugging out, to be honest. Oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> That's not what I meant. You're on defensive, right? Alright, if the horseman wants to charge, we're gonna give him a big old welcome party. Yeah. I'm not sure if you thought that would actually go well. I don't think we lost a single feelings in it. In that. Nope. I mean, props are trying. So, are you doing anything over here? Oh, this just seems to have bugged out. Alright, let's bring in these crossbows then as well. And let's bring in our good friend, Mr. Catapult. To give them a bit of a uh, welcoming party? I think we actually have some regular shot left, so we might just blow that siege tower that's packed. Just blow it up. Yeah, I don't know. If I guess they're happy with this. They call it a victory. We've secured the wall, and that's all we need. I mean, I love your enthusiasm, Isengard, but it's just a little bit sad. I'll keep the failings that just in case. But this extra pikeman units can also come along here. Are they moving now? I think they're moving because... Actually, these guys are out of ammo. So they can just go to the town square. Alright, let's see. Do I have some regular ammo still? No, okay, I don't. Sad. You can still fire on them. Should still do quite a nice amount of damage. Seeing as it's so clustered up there. Nice. Not great, but could be worse. Could definitely be worse. Fire! And that's our last shot. Ah, killed some. Oh look, these guys got, all got decimated. I actually didn't realize my crossbows did so much. I thought they didn't really do anything, but that's wrong. Alright, you can bugger off. Just go to the town square, doesn't matter. Uh, well, we still have some time to kill, so... <laughs> that was actually a great pun. Wow, I only just now realized it. Quality pun right there. So, uh, well, let's get killing, eh? Uh, still 40% to kill. So let's not let them wait any longer. Slaughter them. Oh my god. Just a shooting gallery. Yeah, they just bugged out entirely. I'm not sure why or... Yeah, whatever. This is fun. I don't know. I, I don't care if they bug that, man. This is hilarious. Just watching them all die. Especially over here. This guy is just desperately giving commands. But yeah, this one seems to bug out quite a bit. Because last time he bugged out as well, so... Not sure what's causing that. Because it's one of those settlements that it's, I think is actually from Third Age Total War. Not Divide and Conquer specific. Because I fought in the settlement, like... Many, many times over the past many years. Yeah, I think worthless logs is um, quite fitting. Twenty four. 21, 16, oh, it's going fast now. Can I shoot the guys on there? Alright, you're out of ammo as well. Once we're out of ammo, we'll just let the timer run down. I'm not gonna go and do stupid shit just to get rid of this battle. I will just cut at the end then. But, uh, I mean, if you like watching a shooting gallery, then this is perfect for you. Hold up. Just fired on the crossbows, yes. Oh my 
Come on. I quite like the detail of all the bolts hitting the siege tower like that. It does seem we're missing more than hitting. But I still have 70% remaining, which is quite annoying to be honest. Hmm, maybe I should be a little bit more aggressive. Fuck it. Send in our infantry. Just get some quick kills, you know. It's our walls. If we could just stand close enough, we'll activate the walls. And deal some damage to them. We don't have to do anything for it. Now yeah, listen. Just hear them dying. Those are kills we don't have to claim next uh, next battle. Because if too many of them are still alive, they'll just come back. Let's just surround them and kill them. This is the archers. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I doubt this will cause as many casualties. But gain us a lot of kills. Yeah, look at that. It's on over 80% without any extra casualties, so that's very much worth it. So sometimes it does help to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, right, is anyone still standing? Oh, I think these guys are the last of their force. Nope. Ah, so, oh, the ballista probably, right. Let's just run in there. This is the moment where I wish I had some horses. Go, you can stay inside. Wolves are desperately chasing them. That's not going to work out. Uh, you guys stay back. The phalanx will take care of the ballista. You don't want the risk of getting shot because they still have to turn and they're already aiming sort of towards you. Oh, uh, but the timer. Oh, come on, come on. Kill them quick, kill them quick. Don't be on the offensive, kill them quick. Our men are winning the battle. Oh, so close. Over and we are victorious. So all in all, we lost 3%, they lost 85%, so they have 400 remaining, which... They'll probably be back. They won't be gone for good, but... I mean, that army's done for. And the road to Isengard is looking a little bit more open. So in this episode, we took uh, one settlement, we took two settlements. We took Dol Vaughan and that one settlement down south. And we defended two settlements as well, taking down quite a few of Isengard troops as our own forces are pushing more and more into Isengard land. That spy defended. Sod off, Isengard. Sod off. Oh, annoying bugger. Dunland. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, shit. Moria plundered. Oh, thank you. By who? Who plundered Moria? Probably Isengard. Oh crap. I want Moria, but there's no way for me to get to Moria. Uh, you know, if I had an army here, I would actually teleport him across. Because we have an alliance with the dwarves, so it makes sense. Man, Khazad Doom. If I had Khazad Doom, I'd be so rich. Unbelievably rich. So that means that. Uh, it was because of Doom. No, actually, they're still financially the strongest. Not sure where all their wealth went then, because. And military actually went up a notch. And we're just getting stronger and stronger overall. So yeah, this was episode 22, if I'm not mistaken. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys stay healthy, stay inside, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye.